Good evening. Today we are talking about atrial septal defect and how to live with an atrial septal defect after it has been closed. Now all this depends on when it was closed. Suppose your atrial septal defect was closed when you were 2 or 3 or 5 years old. So practically a completely normal lifestyle after the closure can be anticipated. Which means that the child will go through childhood normally, the child will play normally, run normally, do everything normally, will get all the vaccines normally. Even if the child needs to undergo any other type of surgery, for example, a fracture surgery or appendix surgery, it can be done like any other patient. There is no repercussion of this. In fact, once the child grows out to be an adult and is more than 18 years old, can practically not be conscious of the fact that he or she has had heart surgery or closure of an atrial septal defect with a device, whichever, whichever of the two it is and can continue to live normally. Now, profession choosing with uh, in a child who has had atrial septal defect surgery, profession choosing will uh, be limited by very, very few to very few things which are excluded. So number one exclusion is that if there is a scar on the chest, then Army, Navy, Air Force get excluded if there is atrial septal defect surgery. Maybe possibly police also gets excluded. But most others have no reason to exclude that person from uh, becoming an employee. <clears throat> what is also excluded is airline industry. So in airline, there is nothing extra which is required in terms of physique. But they want to be sure that you can handle the lives of 350 other people. So you carry a lot of responsibility, whether you are an air hostess, or an air stewardess or a pilot, whichever of these, if you're flying, they want you to be super normal. So that is one segment which is excluded. Last segment which is excluded is being an astronaut. What is not excluded is extreme sports. So if somebody wants to get into and become an Indian Olympic player or a national champion and wants to train physically to get into that mode or he or she, they can very well do that. There is no limitation towards that. Now, if a young lady, grow, young girl grows up into a young lady and is in the process of family and has had ASD device or surgery closure done, there is no challenge towards that. They can very well go through one checkup would be required before they get pregnant, one in the middle of the pregnancy and one at nearly full term in the last trimester echocardiogram would be required just to make sure the heart is taking everything well. That's about it. What happens subsequently in life? Again, no implication towards subsequent lifestyle. What happens when they have children? So they have a 97% chance that their children will not have any heart problem. 97% is a pretty good percentage to go by. Now, coming to suppose somebody has had an atrial septal defect closure after 18 years of age, it was only picked up as late as that. So what does that person do or can look forward to? Most of the things I've said are true for that, except that they lived with an atrial septal defect and its effects for almost two decades or more. So there are some very minor things that they need to look at. Number one thing they need to look at is if they ever get the feeling of palpitation then they need to undergo a Holter test. We sometimes want to do a Holter test as a surveillance also and check whether their rhythm, heart rhythm is normal or not. Second, very, very important, but very, very rare, we want to do an annual echocardiogram on these and we want to check the lung pressures. We want to make sure that in the long term, their lung pressures do not go up. And this is also extremely important. It is very unlikely that they were normal and they would go up now. Extremely unlikely, but that is exactly what we want to make sure. Because such things when diagnosed early, it has a very major implication towards improving the quality of life and outcome. So overall, this is all one would be concerned of when as an adult, they had an atrial septal defect closure. Obviously, they can continue to pursue the profession they are in or they seek. Obviously, they can continue to be uh, active physically in terms of running, gymming, etc., cycling, swimming, whatever they want to do. 
obviously they can go ahead and get married without any apprehensions they may want to declare to their partner to be that they've undergone and both of them can meet a pediatric cardiologist who can reassure them that the person is completely fit and fine and healthy and has no implications towards long-term issues in health which can only be reassuring to both the partners who are in the process of getting married. So these are what one would look forward to and what one would like to do. In essence, by and large, the life is completely normal, but at least once in few years, an echocardiogram, ECG, and if needed, a holter may be in place, and you need to meet your pediatric cardiologist to get these done. This is my suggestion in a nutshell. Otherwise, you are looking forward to a normal lifestyle. Thank you.